God bless you, Bishop Wooden here. It's been a long time since I've been this excited about a conference that is about to take place here at the Upper Room, which will begin tonight. Now, tonight is actually, actually our pre-conference night to our upcoming presser-worthy men driven to be presser-worthy in-house local men's conference that has a national flair and we're expecting the God of the Bible to do some great things starting tonight. Tonight I'm going to talk about being moved from being a malcontent to being mighty in God, from being a misfit to being a mighty man of God, a mighty woman of God. There is an anointing. There is a progression. There, there are things, my friends, that God wants to do in you and that the Lord wants to do in me to take us much further than we've ever dreamed or thought possible. As a matter of fact, I'm going to tell you something. You don't resemble where you're headed. You don't look like what God is about to work in you. Uh, the Bishop Blake, the presiding bishop of the Church of God of Christ, he has this uh, maxim that he says on a regular basis. He says, I see you in the future and you look much better than you look right now. Well, my friends, listen, should the Lord delay his coming and allow us to live, there are some awesome things on the horizon that the God of the Bible has for us. Yes, even in these last days. You know, when you study Daniel's writings, Daniel tells us that the Antichrist would do exploits, but he's not the only one who's going to do exploits. Believers will do exploits also. So I want you to join me tonight. And by the way, members of the upper room and those who will see this, we will be taping a live for our for a live service tonight. And and uh, we God is doing some great things. I have some important announcements to make about uh, uh, the op doors that have been opened to us in terms of our broadcasting, how we are expanding our broadcast, getting back out there in the national arena. I'm so excited about that. They're just so many wonderful things and you want to be a part. I want to invite men. I want to invite women. I want to invite you to be a part of our men driven to be presser worthy men's conference. It only starts to tonight, uh, but listen, tomorrow night we're having family night and uh, the president of the men's department of the upper room of upper room of the national church. Uh, will be with us, uh, President Superintendent Michael Golden, and what a night that's going to be. As a matter of fact, we have footage out there, we have announcements out there, we have promos talking about the men's conference. So I won't go through the whole thing. The mighty uh, Stone, Christopher Stone, is going to be with us Saturday. Uh, my wife will be addressing us uh, uh, on tomorrow night, and we're closing with uh, a great preacher, uh, Bishop Michael Hill from Detroit. Michigan is going to be with us Sunday morning. So you see why I'm excited. And uh, our, our men's department president, the elder Anthony Wilson, is doing a tremendous job. And we have a fine men's department. I'm calling on all of the men of the upper room, all of the women, all of the saints of God, the youth, the teens, the preteens. Bring your family. Bring the saints. Come out tonight. Let's be a part of this move of God. Because I tell you, the word that the Lord has given me, um, tonight won't be a, a regular Thursday night. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm preaching. There's a word that I want to preach to you, and there's a prayer that I want to pray. And you want to be a part of this move of God. I will see you here tonight.